Why do we have things happening to us that we don't want happening? Hey guys, so jumping on to do a quick video here on the things that happen to us. So um, a lot of times, you know, we may question why things happen to us. Um, and it's a paradigm, of course. Um, and so a lot kind of goes into it, right? Because if you think about it, you know, if nothing ever happens to you, right? That's not for you <laughs> to help you move along the timeline, then nothing else would exist. You would just stay where you are, stagnant and existing in the moment, right? And so it just exists for you. Everything exists for you, even if in its own suffering. And so I did a little talk on that in one of the other videos. But, you know, it's it's a topic of, uh, you know, being present in your moments and your awareness and where you're living from that exists because it's all for you that wants to take you to the existence of oneness back to source, right? And so it's kind of like the calling of you back home uh, to source from the present moment of where you're existing, uh, which can either be in the present moment itself or of the past experiences, which is relaying back to itself where you are when it's showing up for you with something that you don't want. And so it can be the recurring currents of past lives, generations, of parents, um, this life, things that you have new set points for that you haven't really dealt with or worked on. And so we basically, <clears throat> for one, we, we came here to have the experience, right, of different things, right, which is part of evolution, um, which is always taking us back to the paradigm or to what we understand as the other side, which is always drawing us back to the other side um, at some point in life. But we come here to ex experience, you know, our lives from different perspectives, which is separation, is the dynamics of self and so we have a lot of expression of self and so we got some bugs here mosquito um so we have the different dynamics um that's going on and we may not always understand it and know it of why things are taking place but a lot of it kind of goes into it the creation of existence and experience so like before lifetime we come in and we're choosing you know our what's um, in alignment with us in that moment of evolution from the other side. Because remember, all this is taken in consideration from the other side. We come into play here. This is just to play in the role, right? Our um, kind of Shakespeare summed it up pretty well. Um, you know, this is our stage. This is our play. And these are the roles that we're playing, right? And so um, in that context, you know, we want to kind of look at it like that. So when I was in my spiritual awakening training started, they were showing to me, you know, that, because I studied that in college. Right. So it was like part of the um, curriculum, um, you know, taking Shakespeare. Um, and so from the point of view and my experience as we're, as I'm going through the awakening, um, they're using that in context for me to understand it, you know, that this is uh, just part of the play, right? This is the, because when, spirit talks with you or your guides or angels from the other side, they don't, can't communicate with you as we do here, obviously. And so they use your knowledge bank, um, you know, to help you to understand certain things, right? And so as I was waking up and going through the information, channeling and the writing, they were bringing that to the forefront to help me to understand the basics of this existence and this reality. So it's, it's just basically a play, right? And so when we do have things that you know, happen to us, you know, it's actually, it is for us. And so a lot of us struggle with that concept um, because if it didn't happen, then, you know, we would just exist. And so why would we even be here, right? If we couldn't have the experience of being here and all that it existed and from that point of view, and it's to share in the play with others, you know, and to exist and coexist with each other and not to hurt and harm and to suffer at that point although you know sometimes it does come to that you know if we're not uh waking up and sharing you know from that point of view and the existence and the awareness right of really what this is because we've forgotten who we are because we don't remember who we are <laughs> and that's taking up the body in the form which i've done a video on that um, before as well right so the construct form kind of 
creates barriers of you for you that you are not aware of anymore that you can't see it because we believe that we're in the human form how do you play out a role if you remember <laughs> it's kind of hard to play out the role and remember because if we were to remember would we actually play out the role that we're playing to have the experience that we're playing which you know is your playing field it's whatever that you've created chose to, to create to play out to be a part of whatever you chose that's your dynamics for your life right and so part of it is your past lives coming into this existence in this realm and this time um, uh, to whether it's to heal something you didn't heal before or to have a new experience or to have a different understanding from a different perspective maybe being the child versus the parent or whether it is from your parents because they've been through the experience and so now you're taking them up because you haven't yet as a soul had that experience, but your parents are able to bring that to you because it's been in their lineage. So now you are taking up the child to be in that. So it's ingrained in your environment. And so now you're subject to it, which is part of the path, right? And so to understand it from that point of view, to it's not really about, you know, um, why do things happen to us? Although <laughs> things happen to us while we're here is part of the journey part of the path it's part of the experience and to learn from it and to know it and to work through it right and so to understand and grasp uh, the trueness of it within itself right and so a lot of times you know they say you know making lemonade out of lemons or to find the rainbow you know in the clouds or the storm and so um those are all like metaphors, right, to all our existence of our experiences that we don't really want. <laughs> so, and so that's basically what it is, right, is to find the underlying current of the reason for the experience that you're having. It's not really about the experience because that's just the outcome. That's just what creates that for you to have the true understanding in it which is the silver lining, right? The reading in between the words, the understanding um, of what it is to have the experience and then the knowledge to take away from it, um, which is experience, right? We have, how do you, how are you going to have it without that, right? How are you going to have and know and grow uh, without the experiences? And although, yes, it is traumatic at points, um, but sometimes we need to go that deep to have that understanding. And, you know, when I did counseling for people with addictions, you know, sometimes they had to go that deep to see it because otherwise they would never come back up. It's like Abraham Hick talks about, you know, the bob uh, the on the water, I guess the, the bobber, right, and going down and then it comes back up. Sometimes we have to go rock bottom to actually get back up, right? And so a lot of times, you know, we are not allowing ourselves to go there, or sometimes we do go there, but we don't allow ourselves to come back up. We hold ourselves there. So... You know, that is uh, the dynamics of life that sometimes we don't want to face or play out or have happen to us, but it's all an evolution of itself. And so those are the dynamics that play out in life when we are part of it and we take it up, right? And so it's not that one is against you, one's better, one's, you know, this or that. That's, that's our mind, you know, trying to make sense of it, creating it, um, the experience, you know, um, who's, who's the good one, who's the bad one. Um, but ultimately, you know, we all come in here to have the experience of life and this is what it part is part of it right and so it's for evolution right and so the understanding of it because otherwise why would we come here when we have everything all on the other side right and so from the other side of perspective um there you have where you do have multi dimensions on that side right and that so you have like your higher realms uh from that existence right and so you have the other side kind of like a plateau, if you will, from what I'm remembering. Um, and so you have your higher states of being from that side, outside of this existence in this realm. And, you know, so you let, so say, let's say you have your angels, right? And then your guys and then the masters and the teachers. And then you have your loved ones who've passed over. So we all are evolving higher and higher and higher on the other side to different existences. But part of this realm is taking it up to have understanding so we can apply it and utilize that knowledge from that point of view, uh, which is the reason that we came here to do it, right? And so sometimes you'll hear where people are like, oh, well, you know, 
once you're on the side, you kind of just want to stay there and not do anything, but you're not evolving. If you are just hanging out, you know, on the other side, just existing, you know, at some point, you know, the soul is wanting to advance, you know, in of its own existence, which is to go higher. And so you do have to, unfortunately, you know, maybe take up this experience in this realm or whatever realm that you are then going to, right? And so whatever it is that your soul is working out, it's trying to play out um, to have the experience. And so a lot of times when we have the experiences, um, we've forgotten the dynamics of what we've chosen, the agreements that we worked out, or um, it can simply just be that we're not in alignment, right? We've stepped out of alignment with our true selves and then something just happens, a concurrent of an existence, uh, existing being which has been created before, uh, which is the dynamics of itself showing back up which is not what people say as a punishment as far as karma goes, but it's a reaction of it because if you're going about your day and all of a sudden, you know, in the past um, you had a bad day, right? And then in coming up, you know, you, you said some things or you did some things or something happened, which would have created a set point And from there it started to evolve. I talked about the different set points in the video. Um, but in all of a sudden, like you're, have like a, a good month and then all of a sudden you have a down day again well you're back in concurrent with that energy and vibration so it pops up you know <laughs> um and so it's 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 your elevation and vibration that you're rating with that's bringing it back into and so you may have at that point because you had it's been a month since you've had a bad day you've totally forgotten about it um and it's like how is this happening right we're back out of alignment, <laughs> right? And so we're in alignment with what was, which is the past experience, right? And so a lot, a, a lot exists on the timeline of the existence of the past, right? And so whether that is past life, lineage, generational, uh, whatever that is, uh, it's going, it's there if it hasn't been dealt with and transformed um, into a higher conscious state of being, which is seeing it from a different perspective, which is of course always source perspective. Um, and allowing it to be either in, you know, love or kindness, you know, whatever that framework is, but to see it in a different way. So, but from that point, you know, we have a lot of things that are going on is why, you know, things happen to us. And so it, to really pinpoint it, you know, it's hard to do unless you're able to turn in and see it from that point of view. So part of my awakening journey, um, and my meditation evolution, when I was turning my third eye in, and scanning myself, you know, looking at, uh, and then making the connections, I was able to see why this was happening in my life, right? And so kind of going with the whole triggers, it's like a, it's like a doorway. When you're able to turn your third eye in yourself, um, then you're able to see uh, your perspective, your inner perspective, right? Your inner creations and why things are happening and you'll have a better understanding versus trying to see it from outside because the only thing you're going to see from outside is blaming another person right without looking at yourself then you don't see where you have been a part of the creation right and it's the dynamic that lives within yourself that we have to see right we turn our third eye within and see from who we truly are because we all have a part and role in it you know it's not always just another person right and so we can live from that dimension of reality, but it's not always true. And so you'll never get to where you need to be because it'll just keep happening to you, <laughs> right? If we're always blaming and shaming another person, not looking at ourselves, right? For whatever happens within our lives, because if it's happening in our lives, then, you know, we have a part and role in it, right? But we always may forget about because we take up different lifetimes, right? We have come into this body, which has a framework already set up for you from your parents. So that's your lineage and your generations. Right? And so it, all this comes together in a framework to be a part of the experience you can have it, which is why we came here in the first place, right? And so to have the experience of understanding and learning from and evolving, some people talk about this as a school, right? Um, it's a paradigm though, right? And so as when we see it as that, then we can understand that we have the understanding that we come here for a reason, which is to live these out, right? And so... You know, if you're wanting to um, have those experiences, you might want to understand 
what you came here to experience. And so that's just basically turning in and finding out for yourself what your soul came here to have the experience of, right? And so we're going to have a lot of different types of experiences coming from different places. Again, so whether it's your past life, your soul created this for you, taking up of your parents for the lineage, it could be simply that something happened in the past because you're not in alignment um, with love or vibration, but you're in a match to whatever it was. Um, and so it's just a, a lot of dynamics that kind of bring this in. So really to say, you know, unless you're turning in, you can't really view it from a perspective from outside and then know why this is happening to you. Um, and then we just question, right? And so, it, but then even in your questioning, if you are looking outside, it still brings you back to you because then you're questioning, why is this happening, right? And so then the answers can come. And so when we question, you know, we're able to, if we allow ourselves to be open to receive the answer, then we can receive the answer for the information that we're needing to get out of it, right? And so um, what is soul-based is not always human-based, right? The two, di two different realities um, are living out on the timeline, existing, again, because you have your soul existence, you have your human existence, and then source existence, your three-dimensional being, right? And so from source perspective, it's one thing, your soul is uh, another in coming into the human form, which is your playing out of it in the role. Uh, which is the existence of being here and so when we're able to find out the dynamics of that uh, we can have a better understanding of ourselves right and so as i was doing self-healing and going back um, and looking at myself not blaming and shaming others for what why i agreed to to work out with another person to have that experience and creating that um, and I turned it on myself looking in, and I used certain different methods for that. So I was able to get the knowledge and the wisdom that was trying to be portrayed to me um, in this existence that I didn't have uh, being in a human version, right? And so it is complex to understand it, and to unless you have the experience, it's hard to share it really, and um, it's just really self-study is the only thing I can bring you to, you know, is why you have the things happening to you that you have happening to you, right? It's for, it has a purpose, right? It serves a purpose, um, even in the darkest suffering that we go through. Um, and I've had mine, um, but you, you do get information out of it, understanding where you can turn in and turn the dynamics on yourself. I'm not saying make it yours and blaming you, but when you can look at it, what is my role in the play? not blaming and shaming you or the other person, but what is my role in this? What is it that my soul needs to get out of it? What is my purpose? Why am I having this experience? Is what we want to look at and understand uh, from that point of view, right? And so when we can do that, then we'll have that, right? And we'll be able to uh, transform it, right, from that perspective. Because um, then it's like an aha, an understanding, a knowing. And it's like, oh, well, that makes sense, right? Because um, then it kind of comes to you and it brings you into awareness, right? And so it is definitely a complex um, thing. And it really is about um, self-evolution. And if you're not at that point, then you may not have the understanding of what I'm trying to share. Um, but if you are, you may have had that experience that if you're turning yourself inward, your third eye, and looking and examining yourself, um, then you're going to have the understanding of the knowledge that comes in uh, from that perspective, right? And that can definitely change your dynamics on a whole different level, right? And so that's evolving. Um, but that's basically it. Um, you know, nothing is really against you. Um, and again, everything is for you. It's just the play. It's the roles and the experience, you know. And unfortunately, sometimes it's not always bliss, you know, and cake and parties and <laughs> you know all that kind of stuff we have the opportunity and the ability to create any and all things right and so it's existing from that place what are we choosing are we choosing to continue to be in that place um or are we not right and so it's really up to the role that we're playing out in the experience so 
Um, hopefully that's helpful um, because we do have all the potential to be anything that we're choosing to be. And so it is kind of like, and I always go back to uh, the game of Othello, right? And so kind of just wanted to share that. So that's they're bringing forward, you know, it's like we all have the ability to have the, the shadow, which a lot of people want to say, oh, it's the devil outside of you. It's this creating this in the darkness, you know. But we all have the shadow aspects, right? And so to change those shadows into the light, which is the Othello game, right? And so it's getting all your shadow pieces to be the whites, right? So from the dark to the light and uh, on the whole board, right, is, is the game, right? And so then you win the game, right? <laughs> so if you kind of want to look at it from that perspective, I like to use that as a reference because I love the game of Othello. Um, and it's, it's very strategic. Um, and to be able to maneuver your life and through that to understand that um, kind of brings enlightenment to it. But as we're getting all our shadow aspects into the light and transforming it, you know, uh, we are bringing everything back to us, you know, as whole. We're becoming all, like, lights, right? And so from that point of view, anytime you have the soul wanting to go into an experience that's not light, um, we have the suffering. So, But it is to transform it, right? It's why we have the experiences. So, but whatever is your experience is individually unique to you because your soul is an expression of itself. Um, that it's going to have its own experience, right? And so, although there's people who have relatable experiences, they never really know your experience. Just like for me, nobody really knows my experiences to the, to the levels and the depths that I've had them. So it's hard to put them in words sometimes um, to share it with you. But just know, you know, everything, even when it's not um, bliss and, and love and, you know, sparkles, you know, the unicorn. Um, that everything is there for you. It's to help you to evolve, even if you have to come back into another form to continue or evolve from it, whatever it is that your soul came in to play out, right? And so it's the evolution of being in this existence. Now the things are happening for you, not to you, right? So hopefully that helps because um, when we can exist from that point of view, it changes the framework of where you are, um, in that scenario and we can't always get ourselves out it's when we are like the victim uh why is this happening to me that keeps us in it right and keeps it drowning keeps that bobber down and not popping back up like abraham hicks talks about but uh it's just allowing the bobber to come back up when we can uh not fixate on the outside world but turn it within and then see it from that perspective what is my part and role in it and it has nothing to do about blame and shaming um, it's just about seeing what it is that I need to get from this experience, right? And so it doesn't keep happening, <laughs> you know? And so the sooner that we get that and we can evolve it, the better it is, right? So then we can have more enjoyment um, in life, right? So that's just the framework, the dynamics of when things happen to us that I kind of wanted to kind of share. Um, and if you have any questions, you can definitely you know, ask them, put them down in the comments below and also expand a little bit more on that because um, I know it's kind of just generic, um, but it's really hard if you're not doing a one-to-one -one session, you're not working with one person and just to share um, a personalized experience so you can have a better understanding. Uh, but if you do want to do a one-to-one -one session, you can definitely book one. We can dive into that, you know, in your perspective because you are the only one having the experience. So. And that's another dynamic is like if you're the one having the experience, then it's your experience, right? You're part of the role to play, right? So you have a part and piece in it, right? Whereas whoever else is involved does too. And we all have to work on our own separate pieces. It doesn't matter what other people do with their part. It's what you do with your part that's important, right? And so that matters. It all matters, you know, because we're all one at the end of the day. When we go back to source, right? And so, <laughs> again, you know, when we leave the body, it's not always at death. Uh, when we go back home, when we our body, when our body's sleeping, and I did a video on that. Um, but at the end of the day, right, which is kind of fitting, uh, we go back to source and we take up our trueness, and we are there existing, working out. We're still e even on that side, you know, as we're sleeping. 
we're still communing on the other side with others and working out the play as we come back in and awakening for the day to start. And so we are continuing to play. So it's not just, I know a lot of people have the perspective that um, our lives are planned out before we come, which is part of it. But as we are in our lifetimes and we are sleeping and we are leaving the body, we are actually on that side, communing with those souls that we are existing here in this timeline with, we all are there sharing from that point of view, um, kind of revamping, remapping, you know, and then we come back in. But of course, we don't bring it in with us because we don't remember. <laughs> we can't bring it through the veil if we're not open to do that. And so then we are in our daily life playing out the roles, right? And that's part of the experience, right? And so from that point, it concludes that we are not always in the body, but sharing in the experience not just before, but during and after, right? So you're never alone. <laughs> you're always existing um, from a point of view, not just with your, by yourself, but with others on different levels of existence at one time. And so hopefully that's helpful. I haven't really shared that with anybody uh, before on that, on the videos, but I'll, I'll do another video on that um, for you on a separate one. But yeah, like, share, and subscribe if you have any questions on this one. And I can kind of try to clarify a little bit more, set up a one-to-one -one session. I mean, if you have, like, an individual experience that you want to work on, we can dive into that. So definitely reach out. I have a website. That link is in below. Also, uh, like, share, and subscribe uh, for you. And also, uh, if you like other content like this or if other people might be interested. All right. Happy journeys. Thanks for tuning in.